Hi, I hope that you are extremely good. On this lesson, I'm going to teach you circle geometry. Circle geometry is one of those topics that many students, they think that is difficult and complicated, which is not true. Circle geometry is one of the easiest math topics. Right, for you to completely understand it, I'm going to define to you the two words. Circle and the word geometry. Circle is a round shaped figure with no corners, simultaneously edges. Something like this. I know that you already know what a circle is, but you didn't know the definition. Now you know. Right, that is what you call a what? A circle. Then the word geometry. Geometry is the branch of mathematics that studies sizes and positions of angles. So as you can see, circle geometry, or if you try to understand it from the definitions that I gave you, circle geometry will be dealing with angles inside circles. That is what you call circle geometry. Right, now there is a part of circle that I want you to know and understand. Actually two parts. This perimeter of circle or the outer part or the boundary of the circle, it is known as the circumference. And part of circumference is called arc. Right, let me remove a certain part of circumference here. Let, let me call this A and this one B. So if you remove that part, it's going to be Something like this. So that AB is known as arc. So we having the major arc and the minor arc. Okay, I just wanted to understand that part. That it is called arc because we are going to use it as I'll be explaining to you. Now, there are theorems on circle geometry. What are these theorems? These theorems, they help you to quickly get your angle or to quickly have your answer as you'll be calculating and solving angles inside a circle so theorem one theorem one okay i'm just going to say it to you if you must have a, a notebook that you'll be jotting down right angles subtended by the same arc are equal at the circumference i'm going to repeat this angles subtended by the same arc are equal at the circumference right so if they are being if angles are being subtended by the same arc at the circumference they will be equal let me show you what i'm saying let's say this a b is going to subtend an angle here. I'm going to call it x degrees, like this. If this same arc subtends another angle, or to say subtend is not something that is complicated, it's just uh, saying making, okay, let me put it in that way, or angles being created. So we're saying if this arc subtends another angle here, at the circumference, right? If this arc subtends another angle at the circumference, it means it's going to be x degrees as well. It's very simple and straightforward. This theorem is very crucial. You must know it. Angles subtended by the same arc are equal to at the circumference. So how do you see that is the same arc? What you can do if you've got sight problem, you can use another color and see. I'm going to use red here. If you use red here, you are going to see that it is the same arc. Oh, unfortunately, my red is not clear there. Okay, so what you only need to do is use your eyes. Let me put it in that way. If you have got eyesight problem, uh, eat more carrots. They will improve your sight. So what you just need to know is, or, or you, can, you can hold them like this. This arc is subtending X there. So this same arc is going to subtend another X there. So it means if this is 60 degrees, this is going to be 60 degrees as well. Simple and straightforward. Angles subtended by the same arc are equal as the circumference. Even if another angle is being subtended here, as long as it will be the same arc, it means it's going to be still x degrees. You must keep this in mind and stay focused. Angles subtended by the same arc are equal as the circumference. Don't be confused by many lines. As you'll be going with your lines, okay, I want to encourage you to hold the arc like this. So as you'll be going with the lines you don't have, you don't have to turn like some of you you see this is a straight line and then you want to turn to go that side no angles are turned by the same arc it should be a straight line not a zigzag angles are turned by the same arc are equal to the circumference that is theorem one right now i'm going to teach you theorem two right theorem two you must know that angle Subtended by arc at the center, in most cases, as I told you, they say center O. Angles subtended by arc at the center 
is twice angle subtended by that same arc as the circumference. I'm going to repeat this. Angle subtended by arc at the center is twice angle subtended by that same arc at the circumference. I'm sure that my English is very clear. Angle subtended by arc at the center is twice angle subtended by that same arc at the circumference. So what does that mean? It means if you have got 100 degrees here, here is going to be 50. If you have got 25 here, here is going to be 50. If you have three here, here is going to be six. How are you getting the answers? Your angle here, if you are given an angle here, you multiply it by two. Right? So it means if here you have x degrees, how do you get this one? You say x times two, so it will be 2x degrees. Just like that. So that's how you get your answer. So any angle that you'll be given, you know that the other one you get it. I'm going to repeat. Angle subtended by arc at the center is twice angle subtended by that same arc at the circumference. I'm sure that you're understanding now how to use these two theorems. And the fortunate part is these two theorems, they are the ones, in most cases, it's rare to find a circle geometry related question that you won't be needing to apply either theorem 1 or theorem 2. What did I taught you? On this lesson, I said theorem one angle subtended by the same arc are equal at the circumference, and theorem two angle subtended by arc at the center is twice angle subtended by that same arc at the circumference. I hope that you completely benefited from this lesson and you now know and understand these two theorems, which are very crucial and important. However, there are other many theorems on circle geometry, but these ones I have taught you. Because I know that if you know these two theorems, circle geometry is not going to be complicated to you. You completely understand it. My wish and prayer is for you to pass mathematics with distinction because math was not difficult, is not difficult, and will never be difficult. If and if only you stay focused. So you should stay focused.